And we're learning more about the direction that Radford University's new leading man hopes to take. Dr. Brian Hemphill replaces Penelope Kyle as president. Kyle became the school's first female president when she took office back in 2005. WSOS 10's Bethany Teague was the first to sit down with Dr. Hemphill during his first full week at the university's helm. I've always been on a college campus. Um, I've never left a college campus. It's this passion for higher education that steered Brian Hemphill to Radford University as the school's seventh president. Just weeks away from his first semester, Hemphill is ready to hit the ground running. We want to look at how we begin to improve our retention and graduation rates, but we also are going to, going to look at strategic enrollment growth. Hemphill says greater enrollment will be a key to standing out in an already crowded college field. It is a very competitive market in terms of recruiting students. While remaining first and foremost a teaching university, Hemphill wants to see research surging more to the forefront. What I really want to provide more than anything is an opportunity for more of our faculty who are interested in research, providing opportunity for them to have more incentive and more dollars to support. The new Highlander president also has his eyes on ways to better diversify the student body. Across the Commonwealth, you have two populations that are growing pretty significantly in terms of the Latino student population um, as well as the Asian student population. So we want to look at how we continue to tap in to those areas. Hemphill promises to host what he calls listening forums, both for faculty and students. There he plans to learn more about campus issues. Then starting this fall, the administration will begin to put together a new strategic plan for the university. In Radford, Bethany Teague, WSLS 10.